Yo, 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 what up, Viking Village? I'm Austin. And I'm Sydney. I'm kind of getting tired of introducing myself every time I come on here. Maybe you should consider retiring from the broadcast. Well, we're both graduating soon, so it won't be much longer until we're both retired from broadcast. Hey, speaking of retiring, have you heard of that several of our teachers are retiring after this year? Really? Which ones? Why don't we just watch and find out? At the end of every school year, many teachers make the decision to end their education career and retire. I'm Dave Olson. Uh, teach chemistry and ACT prep. Been in at Northwest for 21 years. My name is Robbie Ruth. I teach Spanish, second year, third year, and fourth year. And this is my 15th year at Northwest. Hi, I'm Kim Coates. I have worked at Northwest since 2000. So I've been here, this is my 21st year. Um, I teach special education. I'm usually can be found in either the science or the math room classes. I was gonna go into engineering at first, found I wasn't very good at math, and so I got into biology and, and plant sciences in university, and uh, that was fun until I got to chemistry in college, and that just opened up my world in terms of what was, what was fun to do, and I found chemistry was much more exciting than the biological sciences. Nothing against them, but chemistry is more fun. When I was in college, seeking a major, I knew that I wanted to work with people. And so I thought teaching would be good. Nursing was my other option, but then I um, volunteered in the hospital and found out that I did not do really well. I went into teaching and I chose Spanish and I chose to um, get a major also in English and a major in government because those are passions of mine. I have greatly enjoyed the students I've had such a variety of kids. I've been able to teach multiple levels of Spanish. There are never two days alike. And I've also greatly enjoyed getting to know the staff here and our parents are, are wonderful. Maybe the craziness, every day is, is entirely different. It seems like there's always something else going on. Just seeing the lights turn on for students. That's the fun part for me is when they get it and they go, oh, this is, I get this. And they're having what I call intellectual fun now. Seeing students really understand something. Being drawn to do something else, that's why I'm retiring from this. I'm looking forward to not always having to be regimented by the clock. Seeing my grandchildren, gardening, helping my sister with her daycare, seeing more of my parents. It's just been a very interesting and fun 21 years. You know, it hasn't all been roses and, and fun. There's always negative stuff that happens and it's just a matter of how you learn from it. I'm going to miss the students very much and I'm going to miss my colleagues tremendously. I would like to thank all the students here at Northwest, uh, the ones that have been in my classrooms and the one I've gotten to know in the hallways. Um, you've enriched my life immeasurably. We wish all retiring teachers and staff good luck as they leave Northwest. Wow, what an awesome story highlighting the amazing teachers we have here. Would you say it was uh, off the wall? Uh, I guess. Why are you being weird? <laughs> oh, haven't you heard? Heard what? That the art students are creating custom vans in class right now. What? That's actually really cool. Let's take a look. Roll the clip. Clay pots, murals, and now shoes. In Art 5, also known as Early Bird Art, several students are undertaking a unique project, painting Van's shoes. So far I've been working on my pair for two weeks and Studley is making them as a project for us in this class. I took Art 1 freshman year. Uh, sophomore year I completely skipped art. <laughs> And then last year I took Art 2 and Art 3, and this year I took Art 4 last semester, and so I decided to be an early morning art. Mr. Studley, the art teacher, had the opportunity to be part of a shoe customizing competition earlier this year, and decided to take advantage of it. Well, the Vans Shoe Company, um, every year they have a Vans Custom Culture um, competition where they select 250 schools to send out four pairs of blank white shoes so that they could uh, students can decorate them. Krista Price, along with three other seniors, are taking part in the competition, hoping to win an impressive prize. We're going to have to send them pictures, but we're not physically send the shoe. Um, they select the top 50 out of all of the first round, and then they let the public vote for them. And then the top five winner, winners, the first one gets $50,000 prize to their art school program, and the four runner-ups get 15000 Each student is making an inspired piece, trying to show off their own taste while being able to express themselves. And Studley just asked us if we wanted to decorate them however we wanted, and they just have to go with the theme that we're doing, um, which I'm doing Hometown Pride, and I know Ashley and Desi are doing Head in the Clouds. 
The next time you consider fresh kicks, you can draw inspiration from these projects and create your own unique vibe. They'll probably just sit in my closet because they're like two sizes too big for me. <laughs> Dang, those new kicks were fly. I agree, but I heard there's been some pretty fly kicks on the soccer field as well. I heard the same thing, and I think we have some teammates from GICC joining us as well. Really? How does that work? I'm not sure. Let's find out. After not having a season last year due to COVID-19, Northwest, along with GICC and Wood River, came together to co-op in soccer. I am Coach Purdy, and I am the boys' head uh, soccer coach here at Northwest. Our team, our numbers were getting a little bit low, and GICC barely had enough numbers to make a team. And at that time, we were kind of meeting with the other coach, you know, talking about, is this something that might work out better for both schools. Both GACC and Northwest had problems forming their own separate teams and collaborated together to increase the number of players. The first probably month or two, it, it was tough. There were kids that were upset that somebody was maybe taking my position or, you know, I don't want to play with the GICC, you know, we, you have that. But after that first summer of doing some open fields, uh, it, it really got better. And the benefits are we got some really good players from these other teams that um, are definitely benefiting our school and our team here. And, you know, you're always going to have the, the trials or they don't have the same schedule that we do here at school so then we have to make practice be at a different time. Forming a team with JCC and Wood River has been a benefit for the players and the team as a whole. I'm Connor Blackburn, I'm a senior and I play center back. It's great, we have a lot of new guys that add a lot of talent to the team and we have, we can play varsity and JV this year. Some of the benefits are we have a lot more people, we can filter people in and out of games, we have a lot more talent in different areas. Some of the struggles at first are having to learn how to play with new people, but uh, it gets a lot better. I love working with all these new guys, they always bring something new to the team. My name is Jared Mejia, I am a junior and my position is midfielder. At first, I I really didn't want to combine both schools, but in the end, I'm really happy we did. Working with soccer players from different schools at the beginning is just hard to get to know each other, and you just have to make that mutual bond with each other and have a lot of chemistry. I'm really excited for the rest of the season. We're doing really well so far. Hopefully, we can keep it up. Best of luck to the boys soccer team as they continue their season. Wow, those were some really great touchdowns. Uh, that doesn't sound right. I think you got the wrong idea. What do you mean? They make a touchdown, they kick a field goal. What's wrong about that? It's soccer, not football. Whatever, we have to get to the next segment, Biking in the Village. They should have interviewed you. Seems like you got tons of wrong answers. Welcome back to Biking in the Village. I'm Avery. I'm Addie. And today, we're taking wrong answers only. When you take out the trash, do raccoons fight or do you climb a mountain? Climb a mountain. Why? Because they have to climb up into the trash can. Hey, she's a runner, she's a track star. When you trip, what color are your toes, up or down? Blue. Why? Angry squirrels. Why? Uh, lack of food. Why don't you feed them? Because they make me angry. So you and the squirrels are angry? Yes, both of us. So like angry birds? Correct, but they're squirrels. What's your favorite color of the alphabet, true or false? <laughs> Three. No. Uh, like, wrong answers only. Yeah. So I'm, I'm supposed to give right answers though, right? No, wrong. wrong. What fruit do you write with when you go shopping? <laughs> Cucumber. <laughs> oh no, it's not. It's a vegetable. So what is Chip Boz Fish's name? True or false? <laughs> false. Why? Because I don't have a fish. <laughs> <laughs> when you solve a math problem, does your mom call you before you cook the food or after you use the bathroom? <laughs> I'm only going to say after I cook the food. What do you cook for food? Not much. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> when you take the trash trash out, do raccoons fight or do you climb a mountain? Watermelon. Okay, like what time of year do you like to do that? Uh, usually when I eat a bowl of cereal. Yeah, like she can literally bark on commands. Like, arf! When you solve a math problem, does your mom call you before you cook the food or after you use the bathroom? Barbell. When you solve a math problem, does your mom call you before you cook the food or after you use the bathroom? Actually, my dog likes long walks. Why? Um, his favorite color is uh, 
Pizza. Do you chew or drink your mashed potatoes? Um, on occasion, sometimes, uh, every alternating Saturdays. If you don't shower, how long does it take you to get a scholarship? At least like eight. What's your favorite color of the alphabet, true or false? Ducks. Why? Quack. Quack. <laughs> What fruit do you write with when you go shopping? The Chalupa Taco Box. Um, I normally go to Taco Bell and get the Chalupa Box, though. Sponsored by Taco Bell. Te quiero Taco Bell. When you solve a math problem, does your mom call you before you cook the food or after you use the bathroom? My mom doesn't call me. I solve math problems every day. What's your favorite color of the alphabet, true or false? True. Why? Because it's not false. What's your favorite color of the alphabet? True. Oh, say can you see? See what I mean? Not even a little. All right, well, we're running out of time, so let's get going. Sounds good. Well, guys, that's all we have time for today. Once again, I'm Sydney. And I'm Austin, and we'll see you next time.